Ah uh, yes, French toast. Not even sure why they call it French toast, to be honest with you, because historians believed it was made by uh, medieval Europeans. How about you spare me the chit chat? Let's make the only French toast recipe you're ever gonna need. Diner style. You're gonna start by cracking two eggy boys. Go ahead and give that a whisk and add a half a cup of milk. Now, every single ingredient that you add into that liquid mixture is going to soak up into every single crevice of that bread. So it's important that you pick the correct ingredients. For your seasonings, you're gonna add one tablespoon cinnamon, one teaspoon nutmeg, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of honey, and one tablespoon of vanilla. As for your pan, put it on medium-high heat, add two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and melt. Okay, so we have our liquid mixture, and we have our pan. Now, you and I need to have a discussion about bread. Okay, we start off with sandwich bread. It's not awful, but it's too thin, and it's not flavorful enough. Okay, next up we have our croissant. Uh, this definitely has a place in French toast, but not in diner-style French toast. And last but not least, we have brioche. The classic, iconic French toast bread, and there is a reason for that. It is thick cut, especially if you get a loaf uh, from the local market, and you can slice it yourself. Uh, it is more sugary and more dense than your average bread. That's going to soak up all of our liquid and hold it without splitting apart. I'm going to eat this piece. Okay, we have our pan on medium-high heat, we have our brioche, and we have our liquid mixture. Now we soak on each side for a few seconds. You really just want to soak it long enough that that mixture really sinks into both sides. And right in to our pan. And you're gonna flip after about three minutes. Now, for those of you who follow me on TikTok, know that I am all about the sauce. So to top off our diner style French toast, we are making a blueberry sauce from scratch. Let's go. Add one cup of blueberries a half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a dash of honey. Over top of a pan on medium-high heat, this takes about three minutes. And now that, my friends, is our sexy sauce. So there you have it. This is undoubtedly my favorite French toast recipe. Uh, with the blueberry sauce, I love a strawberry sauce as well. And you can use the same method that I used on the blueberry sauce for strawberries. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like and smash that follow button so you don't miss out on more content just like this. I will see you next week. My time has come. Thank you so much. Have a good one.